Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's all the Angry Nerd again today, and this is a very different video from what I usually make. And, uh, there, there'll probably be some, like, video up here. And, uh, pretty much what it is, is there's one thing wrong with Dead by Daylight. From me extensively playing it after I recorded it. Um, the, the one thing that's wrong with the game is that hook camping is a thing, and, uh... Like, it, like, it's fine to do. Like, to me, how I feel about it, because I, I played the killer now, and I played, um, played, obviously I played the survivors. Um, hook camping, if you don't know what that is, it's where somebody sits, like, by a hook, or whatever, after, let's say, they caught you and, and beat you down, and they keep pushing you back out there every time somebody puts you on there. And you can see it in my, uh, Ellen Friends play. Dead by Daylight, and it's abundant in Dead by Daylight, and for me it's like, uh, I don't think people should be getting banned for hook camping, because I've been reading forums where people are like, these people should be banned, uh, it, like, you know, just hating on these people that are doing this strategy, and, you know, it, it, to me, it is a strategy, but it's a really dick move strategy. Because in my one video where I was playing with uh, a bunch of random people, and uh, I, I got fucked up by the nurse like three times, one, two, three, done. I was a, or or it was a hillbilly. It was one of the two. And uh, yeah, uh, to me, I can agree with people saying that yes, it is the cancer of Dead by Daylight. But people are always gonna find these new ways to be a dick, to do this, to do that, or whatever. It makes for a funny video, like when you see friends playing it together. <clears throat> but I can understand when, you know, let's say for me, or because, you know, a lot of my friends don't have Dead by Daylight, I just want to jump on there, like, you know, see how long I'm going to survive and just, you know, not be camped like that. <clears throat> like, um, you know, everybody hates losing or whatever. But, you know, like when it's like the first fucking minute where you're right there and then boom just over and over and over again like you just you just keep getting hooked on this thing like there's nothing you can do you can't fight back so uh like the, this is uh it's just it's one kind of game breaking thing because also there's another point to it um if you're not high enough in the level perspective of your character you're gonna be making nothing around zilch zero so, I swapped from playing my player 4 character to my 1, and um, I could see the, the difference because my player 4 has a bonus, uh, what do you call it, like a, a bonus, like, blood thing, like, it's an upgrade tool, like a bonus thing, so say if I didn't have anything going on in that round, and let's say, like, maybe I fixed one generator, like how I did with the other round, it gives me a bit more experience. When you're starting, you get fucking zilch. You get nothing. And that's a problem. Because, uh... Like, let's say when you get hooked, or whatever, it's like, you, you don't... Like, it's done. That's it. It's over. <clears throat> and it feels like the experience that you get doesn't get brought over. Like, you get, like, just... It cut. Because you didn't survive, or do whatever. Because, like, there's a lot of stuff, like, wrong with Dead by Daylight. But it's such a fun game to play. It's just, it's hard to make, like, a consistent video of, like, just going on there and doing it. But, like, I hope, let's say when this game is out of beta, because I see myself still playing this game compared to a lot of people that are boycotting it. Um, you know, um, how I feel about it is that you should be able to like maybe have a different system like when people are camping the hook let's say they get less experience or something like that because it's, it's an unfair function or let's say the survivor like let's say one of them can find a weapon and knock the dude over the fucking head like to get their teammate off of the hook because uh it's just it's very unfair and just playing it and you know having that happen to you constantly it, it's, it's kind of enraging, because you feel like you're not fucking doing anything, and that's the main point <clears throat> with a lot of these games. Because when you're playing the killer, it's like, kill everybody, whatever. <clears throat> um, with the, the other people, the uh, 
the survivors. Like, I heard they had problems too that I think they fixed. But um, it seems like the killer now is just a little bit overpowered because I know da dashing over things, that was a, like, not a bug. But it was just, it was something where they, they had a problem with it and then they fixed it and they buffed the killer. And it seems like the, the survivors didn't really honestly get anything. Because, like, there's still a core factor of the game that's just, it's wrong. And that, that's the hook camping thing. And it did just jump from three different things, but still, it's like, they are working on it. But, uh, like, I just feel like, just add that function in. Like, don't go fucking banning people, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, banning them over doing a strategy. It's a very bullshit strategy, but don't fucking ban people over it. Because, you know, everybody's just wanting to have fun with the game. Like, they're not wanting to, uh... Like, you know, we're, we're just all wanting to play it and have fun and enjoy it. And for me, it's like, I'm usually one of the people that kind of gets out second to third. Sometimes I get, get out first because, you know, you have a bad spawn. And it's like, shit, whatever, it happens. But it's, it's a problem where you're there. And then, let's say, like, because this happened to me, a match I didn't record. A dude put a bear, like, a, two bear traps under me so nobody could save me and just sat there staring at me, staring right at me, just to wait till I died. Because, you know, it's an easy thing to do. That's bullshit. That needs to be fixed. Or, uh, like I said, implement a function, let's say, like, one of your teammates can go over there and knock his fucking, knock his killer over the head with something, or, you know, help, help out, uh... Or, uh, also to maybe, like, you know, have, have a vicinity where, uh, you can't get that much experience just by sitting there and watching a person die. Because it's just, it's really unfair, and it's like I read through all these, like, Steam chats and everything else just saying, like, these people are the cancer of this, you know, ban all these, like, harsh words. It's just, no, like, I forget what the Dead by Daylight, uh, what do you call it is. I, I forget their um, forget their name, but I kind of hope that they fix it at least, like the Dead by Daylight company, because like this game is still it's still in in beta, like it's not even it's not even like out yet, so it's like we're we're all just kind of trying it, and it's not great. And even, like, the perk section and everything else, like, it's good. But it's, like, um, it just, it feels really unfair. And that's honestly the only problem I have. But it's still, like, it, it's a, it's a good game. It's just, it's fucking annoying. You know, just seeing these, like, people, uh, like, you know, just camp that shit. And also, too, for being, like, a new player, usually getting into games with new players, it's hard to, to do that. Like, let's say if you're an experienced killer, because you, you never get to see the killer's rank either until at the end of the game, so it's like you can know, like, hey, this guy's been playing, like, day one. Where, uh, like, for me, it's like I started later on because I haven't got a new computer since then, but whatever, that doesn't matter. Still, it's just, uh, there needs to be a little bit of balancing. The, the, the game's good, it's not like I'm saying don't buy it. It's like, no, the game's fucking good, go buy it. Like, it's really fun. Fun to play with your friends, it's fun to, like, it's, it's just, it's, it's a good game. But, the thing is, it's that, like, you're gonna run into the hook camping people, that's how it is. And it's annoying, but it's how it is, and it's just something that honestly needed to be brought up, because, um, I had that happen to me over and over and over and over again. And even friends of mine on Xbox that I've told about this, and PlayStation friends, they say that it, it's ridiculous that um, it seems like now they're not ha like they're pampering the survivors more because uh, also cooperation usually doesn't happen when you're playing that game. You're honestly like 95% of the time you're always gonna fly solo because nobody's gonna want to help you. For me, I even ran that way before, and honestly, how that game works is there needs to be you helping people. That's just how it is. But I don't know. 
not saying that Dead by Daylight's bad, it's that I probably wouldn't, like, record it again unless if I had friends to play it with. Because it's just, it's stupid. It's really stupid just seeing these dudes just do that and it's like, you know, you get all this XP for doing it. I don't know. It's like, like, one game we had, like, we pretty much had it in the bag. And then the guy camped, like, each door before we had to open it. Then killed everybody. <clears throat> and then, uh, and then he won because, you know, camping and stuff. It's great. Like, I don't know, maybe there needs to be, like, not lethal options for the survivors, but maybe there needs to be something better. Like I, like I said, like, if somebody is, like, camping a hook, there should be an animation where you could, like, wham the fucking killer over the head if they want to just sit there and look. Because, like, it's just, it's, it feels very unbalanced and unfair. So, that's pretty much all I got for that. So, thank you all for watching, subscribe to a friend today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.